Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy YCV, man, and today we have yet another topic slash reaction video. Today we are actually reacting to a whatever podcast clip, and this video is entitled, Are OnlyFans Girls Suitable for Serious Relationships? I guess we're going to continue to talk about OnlyFans models this week, but before we get into the video, please do me a favor. Do not forget to share, like, and subscribe. It really helps me out with the channel, and it lets me know that you are rocking with the content. And while you're at it, please do me a favor and follow me on all of my social media platforms at WattsTV94. That is at WattsTV94. Uh, join the Discord as well. I will have a link to that in the description down below. And while you're at it, follow me on Twitch, man. I've been streaming a lot more frequently, and I've been keeping up the Halloween theme for this month. So please do me a favor and follow me on Twitch at Watts underscore TV 94. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. I mean, just my reaction really quick is just like, look, you're free to do uh, free to do. But I think you got to understand that I'm not my personal view is I don't think it's impossible for a girl who's been involved in that kind of industry to get a change. guy to get married. It's clear. No, I don't think they have no, it's it's not. Yeah, he's right. It's not impossible for a girl who's in the corn industry to get a husband or boyfriend or whatever. Uh, most corn stars have like significant others. Like it's it's not something that's foreign. Like it's very possible. Change. It's just like that's your history. You don't think it's? Well, I think a woman can become a better version of herself, even if they went through a lot of stuff. Yeah. What about women who've been like sex trafficked and stuff? They can be. Hey, a yo. No, 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 no. Hey, yo. What about women who've been like sex trafficked and stuff? They can be. No, 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 no. You don't think it's. Well, I think a woman can become a better version of herself, even if they went through a lot of stuff. Yeah. What about women who've been like sex trafficked and stuff? They can be. Whoa, women. You can't they compare can, that at no, all. Yeah. No, actually, that is deeply insane. No, we're can't not even bring that up. We're not okay, going there. Okay, but it's just like, don't judge people who've had a lot of sex. Some people. Yeah, I, I, I really, <laughs> obviously they are an exception. Like I would not have brought up women who have been sex trafficked because obviously they were doing that against their will. Like, hell no. Why would you even say that? If a, <coughs> if a man were to judge a woman for having a lot of sex because she was sex trafficked, yes, he would be a piece of shit. But damn, bro. Like, why would you even bring that? No, that is not the same. That is not the same. There is a huge difference between a woman who has intercourse because she's forced into doing so as opposed to a woman who is having a lot of intercourse just because she likes it or what have you. Like, no, the two are not this, even remotely the same. It's just like, don't judge people who have had a lot of sex. Some people, like, I didn't even know what I was getting into whenever I Of course, I'm, well, actually, no, I will judge people who have had a lot of sex. Okay. And in the same way that, in the same way that women judge men for a vast list of criteria yeah, when it comes strong. to selecting them for, to that's potentially true. be a romantic partner, men are also allowed to have no, preferences, can. standards, and boundaries. But I'm not it's saying just Look, I'm not going to lie. To a certain extent, I agree. But my only issue, my only issue is if you're a man and you have, like, 50 bodies or something like that and you meet a girl and she says she has 30 you're like whoa you're a whore that's when i have a problem with it because at that point that becomes extremely hypocritical i said this in a video before like stds do not discriminate okay so it really doesn't matter that's my only issue like we as men have to do better when it comes to judging women um for their sexual past because not a lot of a lot of the times our body count may be worse than theirs but men still judge there is just a huge hypocrisy that i will never understand but whatever men versus women well saying, I wouldn't judge no someone. but it's like there's always this like oh but why you do would, though but it's always this hold on it's always this thing with like oh why are men so judgmental about body count or women who do this or who do that Y'all are super fucking judgmental about a myriad of things that matter to you, like a guy's height, a guy's success, mm -hmm. uh, there's a guy's penis size. There's a million fucking things that y'all okay. care about. I guess that's valid. And that's for you. That's preferences. But if a man has a preference, that's discrimination. Nah, that's facts. Nah, that's nah. <laughs> nah, that that is for sure facts. Yes, because it is so. It is completely okay for a woman to say she does not want. A, uh, a big guy or, or, or a guy that's out of shape or a guy with a dad bod but if a man says that jesus christ yeah we're gonna get jumped on now that is absolute that's facts it's judgment that's somehow wrong okay so any anything that that comes to the detriment of women when it comes to the dynamics between men and women if a man has a preference that's frowned upon and i and i think it's imperative to understand sitting here listening to y'all y'all have a very 
deontological view. What that means <laughs> is y'all view value system. We have things that we want our women to do. We have things that we want our women, we don't want them to do. And things that we're naturally attracted to. Our brains work in a way to where certain things trigger us. It's, it it uh, triggers our disgust factor sexually. And the thought of a woman being ramrodded by a whole bunch of dudes, sucking a whole bunch of dicks, taking come on the face, all kind of shit. That's not something that we take pride <laughs> in in knowing that our woman does. That's not something that but we that's your personal we're attracted to. But, 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 really yeah, yeah, but, but what I'm saying, well, no, but what it's I, not but personal it, opinion. It's, it's, it's not a personal opinion because if I run a survey right now, I can For find real. thousands of dudes who feel the same way, and I'll find more men who feel the way I feel than men who don't. So yeah, I uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, again, I agree. Most dudes do not want that girl doing corn and being ran through. Like yes. I, I 1000% get it. And honestly, there are a very, the percentage of guys who are willing to put up, who are willing to put up with that are, it, it's very minute. It's very small. And I'm willing to be, I'm willing to, uh, to bet that the majority of that percentage lives in Los Angeles. <laughs> And that, that percentage most definitely lives in California for sure. That so, so the majority the don't, don't so, exist. So, so the, but that's that's he didn't say that. He didn't say those men don't exist, but obviously they are the minority in, in this conversation. They are not the majority. They are the minority. Like he said, if he did a poll, most men are going to feel the same exact way that he feels. And honestly, I agree. That's true. What she's saying is a small minority. There, there are plenty of guys out there will be willing to put up with that. No, that there aren't. You are going to have a hard time finding a decent relationship when it comes to men if you are a, you know, a sex worker. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is I'm painting a picture of what's normal and what's abnormal. Being a porn star is morally reprehensible. That's why you're getting all this crit uh, criticism and judgment. Are you shaking and at the end of the Mm, I I don't know if I, I I don't agree with that one. I don't agree with the one. He said being a corn star is morally irreprehensible. Yeah, to to you, I I really would not make that argument that morally being a a corn star is is wrong. I I wouldn't I wouldn't say that. But all, wait, time out. At the same time, I find it funny that he said uh, the women in that room have a very like uh, n have a very narrow minded viewpoint of the world where they look at everything as right or wrong when he's doing the same thing. <laughs> uh, just just a just a quick observation. But yeah, I wouldn't say being a corn star is morally irreprehensible at all. Um, I mean, murder, sure. Um, stealing, yeah. But doing corn, I yeah, I, I, I wouldn't argue that. I wouldn't say that everybody or a majority of men would say corn is morally irreprehensible. And I feel like men wouldn't say that because men are the ones that are consuming it. So if they were to say that it's morally irreprehensible, they would be hypocrites. Like most men watch corn, so they can't say that it's morally ir irreprehensible. So am I wrong or am I tripping? I don't know. At the end of the day, finish. at the end of the day, if you're going to do something, people are going to judge you for it. People are going to criticize you for it. So to think you should live in a world where you won't receive any criticism or judgment, you're not being realistic. I never said I wouldn't receive criticism. Like, I would judge a man if he hasn't had enough sex. But, but what? You're saying, you're saying, you don't, you say what? <laughs> what? You are further proving their point. What? I would judge a man if he hasn't had enough sex. But but you're sitting here saying yeah, you don't. Yeah. You're sitting here saying <laughs> you're being very judgmental, and you kept and you kept highlighting that you're being very judgmental. You're being okay. Now I'm even more confused on what her argument is. Like, what is she arguing? Mean about it? But I That's, wouldn't be mean towards him. But you just I just said fuck him. No, I'm talking about talking to, the, talking to the girls on the panel. You keep hinting right. at being judgmental. That tells because me because they are judgmental. That, exactly, but that's reality. That's what comes with and the I territory. And I can't call them out on that? Go ahead. You, you can, did. but that's not going to change it because you're essentially doing what they're doing. Y'all just, just virtual signaling back and forth. You're literally you're just like narrating this whole podcast and what it's about. Because oh, you yeah, can't you understand. Can. You, you cannot seem to grasp it. I, I understand. You're, you're, you're doing nothing but virtue signaling back and forth. Oh, don't judge me. What about you? It's the same thing. You're engaging in the same thing. And what I'm saying is anything that you choose to do, you have to deal with the consequences of your actions. But you're not gonna I mean, sure. Consequences, but I think that you guys just have a fundamental opinion in what is like a fundamentally different opinion in what is morally right and wrong than what I have in my life. And I feel like you guys personally attack me. Yeah. And I uh, and I also feel like that also depends on how you were raised as well. Um, 
if one maybe had a strong Christian background, I can see how someone would say that doing corn is morally irreprehensible, you know? So I guess it, uh, part of it has to do maybe with your upbringing, I would assume, because a lot, because for me personally, like I gained a lot of my morals, uh, not only in my viewpoints, not only through um, my parents, but through religion as well, through Christianity. So I don't know, maybe it just depends on, depends on your upbringing. Mm -hmm. For the way that I live my life. Okay, well, but you but say, there's a consensus. But, but, but we can, consensus. we can. Okay, we can move. I don't think there's a consensus. There's it doesn't matter. There is a consensus. No, there's a consensus. There's a consensus. Yes, there is. It, just by saying you have a lot of sex, but then you're over here saying, "Oh, I'm not going to be with someone who doesn't have a lot of sex." Yeah, yeah it's literally opinion. the same thing. It is the same thing. How much your husband or your boyfriend makes? Because how much do you make? I'm sorry. How much do you make? That's none of your business. Don't ask me. I asked you how much does your husband make. How much does your because husband I, make? What oh. the fuck? What question is this? What does this have to do with anything? How much does your husband make? What difference does it make? Oh, my boyfriend makes enough. Trust how me. How much? My boyfriend makes definitely well over six figures. So. But how much? That's none of your business. Then don't ask me. Okay, but you're over here talking about how you are not judging anything. But if a man did not make six figures, you probably wouldn't be with him. Oh, yeah, I true. see. Uh, mm, I see what she's saying. Oh, uh, okay. No, that's valid. That's valid. That's true. You probably wouldn't be with him. That's yeah, that's true. correct. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I'm so so. Yo, who? This chick is. Com she just like contradicting herself left and right. What is she arguing here? No, that is Thank you. Yeah, Thank I never you. said that. That's, that's my point. That's Thank that's you. That's the point. Right. That's, so yeah. you have a preference too. So, I never said I didn't have so a preference. So why are you like living I'm in not going to be mean towards someone about my preference though. That Okay, uh, like I'm, I'm really trying to. Obviously, this is this is a clip, so I'm really trying to figure out what is what is the argument here, because now they're talking about preferences. Now, this I would have to ask the question: just because if you have a preference, does that mean you are naturally judging the other person? I don't know if I would agree with that, because I have a preference. So, like. I've, so one of my preferences would be like I don't want anybody that's overweight, right? Um, that's like extremely overweight. But I'm not judging you for being overweight. You're just not my type. But it, since you're not my type, does that mean that I'm judging you? I don't think so. I just think I'm attracted to what I'm attracted to, and I can't necessarily help that. If I'm not attracted to somebody that's like vastly overweight, I can't. I can't help. I, I really can't help that. Like I can't. I don't, but I don't think that's me judging someone. It seems like they're having two different conversations here between judgment and preferences. Like this is, they are not having, these two, I don't think these two have anything to do with each other. They can, I don't know, you can have a preference and also judge somebody, but just because you have a preference, that doesn't automatically mean that you're judging them. So, yeah. Uh, nobody is going to judge you. Like, do you not realize that being a porn star is not the normality today? But do you but realize you think it that is? I judge you for the way that you speak to me? Okay. But I exactly. can judge you for the way you're speaking to me, too. Okay. This okay. is getting petty. What so what's your point? My point is that I think fundamentally, you guys... Do you guys know what fundamentally means? Yes. <laughs> and that was mean. That shows your character more than it shows mine. Um, your fundamentally, let me speak. Don't cut me off. Nobody cut you off. You did. Mm. Fundamentally, and you made fun of me. Fundamentally, I think that people on this panel have a different opinion on what morally correct means than me. Okay, I hold, just on. Never let's, hold on. Hold on. Let me come in really quick. <laughs> let's, let's try Yo, to move away from the discussion of... This is so like, people petty. People on this panel have a different opinion on what chick. morally correct <laughs> means than me. Okay, I hold, just hold on. This is so petty. Hold on. Let me come in really quick. Let's, let's try to move away from the discussion of, like... It's, it's veered a little bit away from dating. Yes, there's a dispute about what's morally correct. However, if I can try to stick it to what we're, I think the central thing about this conversation is our position is that if you are engaged in creating this kind of adult content, there are going to be men, perhaps a majority of men, that are going to find that unsuitable in a partner and would not pursue you for long-term serious relationship and or marriage. Fair. So we can have a discussion about well what's moral and what's not but ultimately bringing it back to dating men do not want to get involved with 
generally speaking, I would say most men do not want to get involved with women who are engaged in sex work. Fair. No, I agree, and I'm saying I don't want to get involved with those men either. So what the hell are we talking about? Like, both of you agree. What, what is the conversation here? So, what do you, cool. Where is the I disagreement? That's one of the points you made, and you said that you judge men who are sexually inexperienced. Yeah. So men who are... Well, saying that, like, I, I wouldn't pick those men. Right, but do you think it's wrong for men to not want to date women who are promiscuous or who have a high body no, it's count duality. or who, who engage but I think the key difference though is and I would say it's it's kind of the norm if women would not want to date a guy who's sexually experienced however when a guy doesn't want to date a woman who is sexually experienced mm -hmm. and proxy for promiscuity proxy for high body count proxy for uh, doing adult adult content that's somehow wrong that we have a preference when it comes to the when it comes to something that you have that's in your control however men will or excuse me women will disqualify men who can't get laid who have difficulty developing relationships with women which to some degree is outside of their control so you said you don't you said you don't like men who they lack sexual experience but that's outside that's kind of out of their control to some degree if you have a lot of sexual experience that's a hundred percent in your control so I would, I would argue it's it's less fair to judge a man based on that than to judge a woman based on her promiscuity or her body count I don't agree with that because like I want I want the man who is like confident enough to go out and be sexually promiscuous and like learn about his body and learn what he likes and dislikes. I don't want to be the person that he like. Let's be honest here. Just because a man is promiscuous and has a lot of, you know, intercourse with women, that does not mean he knows what he's doing. That does not mean he knows his body. That does not mean he knows what to do with other with other women to to help them finish. Like that's that doesn't mean anything. It really doesn't. Learns about himself through. I want to come together and like already know. You, wait, so you want a guy who's prom promiscuous or? Well, has yeah, I want capacity? I want a guy that is like sexually there. That's not like sexually sexually inadequate. Okay. Like I enjoy sex. I'm I'm very horny and like I want a man that like is the same way. Okay. So then if he gave you all of that, you still wouldn't be loyal to him, though. But, again, our definitions of loyalty are different because, like, the way I view sex for work, I think that's just work. You do realize that you have more sexual experience than uh, over one Yeah, majority I have over 100 bodies. So we date porn stars. Yeah. That's yeah. What, uh, Damn. So uh, all right. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I mean, I'm not shocked because she said she's a, she's a, like, a you know a sex worker but she just she said it really fast and really confident oh yeah i have 100 bodies but i mean obviously she's a corn star so it's not too surprising but i just the kevin hart like mean popped in my head like damn <laughs> eight porn stars that's what you said yeah so, I keep you, no so your only pool of dating is porn no, other porn stars I don't, I don't, i've never dated a porn star that's, that's my preferred pool of dating but also like my boyfriend i met him on tinder like we were friends for two years before we started dating and i approached him Look, when it comes to dating, right? I don't know um, what that has to do with anything. You got to understand that working in the se sex industry is still a scarlet letter and always will be to a self-respecting man. Well, do you know what a scarlet letter is? <laughs> do you know what a self-respecting man is? No, like that, literally, that I was mean. asking an actual question. <laughs> Yo, they are just blatantly calling this woman stupid. Like right in her face. Do you even know what the scarlet letter is? It yo on on God. I hope she. I hope. I hope she knows what the scarlet letter is. Please, please say the right thing. Please, 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 please know that it's a book. For the love of God, please know that it's a book. That's a movie. And a book. Okay. Wait, all right. All right. Okay. okay. All hey. That much okay. On the whole. I'll take realizing it. Realizing that because you're engaged in this kind of stuff, that you are you are narrowing your pool of potential partners because there are just some men that would not want to pursue you for ro a romantic or sexual relationship. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. But, and look, there's women, see, I, like, there's women who, there's definitely a lot of women that don't want to date me because I'm doing this dating podcast. I have some hot takes. Like, it is what it is. I'm not upset about it. It just 
it, it is, is what it is. is. Like, but there's also I women that would love to date you. There's, huh? Jinx. There's also women that would love to. But I, mm, 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 mm. I don't. I don't know if I would have made that argument, even though that's true. I would argue that uh, his dating pool is probably much larger um, because he he has wealth. So his dating pool is probably way more extensive. Even even if he has like a bunch of hot takes and does his pod podcast, his dating pool is probably way bigger. Yeah. Why are you beckoning? It, why are you gesturing at Layla? Wait, what? Sorry. Oh, he said just said there were women because of this podcast no, that I'm, would I'm, not I'm, love to date him, but like well, yes, there the, are, the there exact are opposite women. happens. Trust too. me, I get the DMs. There are definitely okay, I don't know who this girl is, but she's making me very uncomfortable. Like very uncomfy. Like what I, what her energy is just weird, man, and she has not been able to sit still this entire time. Like my anxiety is through the roof right now. Sit the f still, Jesus. At least some women that do not, maybe they secretly do, I don't know, but there are definitely some yeah, ideas. I'd I say it benefits me, because a lot of the women who disagree with me end up liking me. But I feel so. like you're a little, For other like reasons, I come though. in sometimes with some Same. like ridiculous shit takes, you know, and you're a little more level-headed, I think. You know? Well, that's because ha having uh, conversations like this, you know, studying psychology, you try to understand why people do what they do, as opposed that. to taking as opposed to taking a moral stance on what they do. Yeah. Like I have clients, so I have to understand them objectively, as opposed to telling them, you know, this is good, bad. When it's more healthy, unhealthy, and how effective is this going to be in getting what you want? So wait, but didn't he just? I'm con he's contradicted himself too. Did he not just say that doing corn was more like morally irreprehensible? So what is he talking about? Yeah, I he's he's saying two things, two different things here. I don't know. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um there is most definitely a part 2 and this is a different conversation that will be posted on Friday, I believe. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but in the meantime, again, do not forget to share, like, and subscribe. It really helps me out with the channel. Don't forget to join the Discord. I have a link to that in the description down below. Follow me on all of my social media platforms and follow me on Twitch as well. Again, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and I will see you in the next video. Peace.